Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the trainers uh, in Mount Pyre. We got the TM for Shadow Ball, TM30 Shadow Ball. We touched that to Twitch, my Grumpig. And we also took on this route, or started this route, I think we're about third way through. Uh, and uh, we also battled Team Magmat uh, Mount Pyre, but in the foggy area, up, up on top, the outside part of it, I guess you could say. And T you know, Team Magma was there, there's team, three Team Magma grunts that fight, and then Maxi was there, but we didn't have to fight him. But he took the blue orb instead of the red orb, which was stupid because he took the wrong orb. So we actually, the elder lady just gave us the blue orb, so hopefully we can get the red orb back from Maxi. So yeah, I have Twitch up front right here, my Grumpig. So let's take on this cool trainer. I think he says like, hey, let's, you have so many badges, let me see if you're worthy of those badges or something like that. Yeah, let me see if you're actually worthy of those gym badges, of those badges. I am, I am, I promise, it's a battle. I promise you. This is cool trainer, Clyde, okay, cool. He has a swallow, nice, that's pretty cool. Let's go for the shockwave. Let's see here, shadow ball, let's see, range of moves. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go for the shockwave though, because it's going to be super effective then. The swallow is going to swing attack though. It always does a little bit, so that's good. The swallow is level 29 male. Hopefully this will probably knock it out, hopefully, I'm guessing. Nope, it survived, okay. I was too cocky there. Let's give the side beam to help you finish it off. You're gonna withdraw swallow, okay. Trap bench, okay. It's not level this this trap bench is level twenty nine and uh male. So yeah. Let's give for another side beam to not try to knock this thing out. Okay, against the hyper potion, fine. Oh man, I should've just tried to use psychic because psychic's a little bit more powerful than side beam. I probably would have knocked it out, but that's okay. Yeah, let's go for, um, let's finish with Shadow Ball, I guess. Our new move. That's actually the first time I think we're using it, so that's awesome. The Trap Bridge goes down. Awesome. So, you about to use Whammy. We'll stay in. Let's see how much, um, I don't think Shockwave will win it KO, but it'll do a decent amount of damage, I'm hoping. So, this Whammy is level 29 in male, so that's awesome. Let's see how much this does. It, uh, puts in the red. Awesome. So, uh, I'll put, I'll use Shadow Ball on it. In case it does heal, I'll, it'll, I'll just weaken it down a little bit till I can shoot Shockwave again. Oh, you're not gonna heal? That's good. Good for us then. That Water Pulse, I think, is what the move, the when we used on us. So I didn't know. I'm in my Window Froze. There we go. My Window Froze for a second for some reason. That's odd. Twitch uh, gained 850 experience points. That's awesome. Shift Trees are next. This is a dark type though, so none of my, none of the switches, uh, psychic damage will work. And now I know Shockwave, so it's best to probably just to switch out. To, uh, let's switch out to Smokey. Okay, yeah. Let's shift tree, uh, self 29. Let's go for the, uh, let's go for Fire Boss. We haven't used Fire Boss, I don't think. Of course, you're gonna use Double Team, so it's gonna make it harder for you to get hit by my Pokemon's moves. But Fire Boss still hits. Shift Tree's level 29 in male. It's gonna be super effective right here, and it should knock it out. Awesome. Nice, I like it, I like it. Nice, okay. Is about to send out swell. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's go back to Grumpig then, my Twitch. Yeah. So he has two Pokemon after this. Oh, he just has two Pokemon left, including the swell. Let's go for the side beam to finish it off, hopefully. The swell is going to be faster, of course, and use swing attack apparently. But the side beam should knock the swell out. So that's good. I think Twitch will grow to level 36. And let's see if I'm right. I am right. Cool. Twitch is down level 36. Awesome. Which one is about to send a magnet on? Okay, we'll see which one, yeah. We'll switch to Smokey. Because Smokey has Flamethrower, and Flamethrower is going to be super effective on the Magneton. So, uh, my point is, for Smokey D, is Flamethrower on this Magneton, because it's been super effective. This is uh, Magneton is level 29, and it's genderless. Oh, Thunderbolt, no. Shoot, Smokey stands strong. Nope, okay, Smokey fainted. Shoot. Okay, we'll go to Fighter then, I guess. Oh, man. I could also heal Smokey, but then I, like, I was careless, I'm sorry. Let's go for the, uh, Vital Throw, I guess. Let's get a Sunday Wave. Oh man, I could, Friday could be paralyzed for his turn though, you know? But luckily he isn't. Nice. Let's see how much this Vital Throw does. It, it, it takes it out. Awesome. That's good. So yeah, we defeat Quichu and acquire Nice. Oh, you're worthy, alright. Thanks. Thanks for 1,390 Pocket Always, too. And then being, with, uh, Friday being paralyzed, that actually get boosts his attack, I believe. So let's switch, switch with, um, Metroid, I guess. There's another incident for, in the wall for a secret base. Do I have a Pokemon? I forget if I do. I think I might have one on. 
Yeah, I do have one stuff on my way. Cool. I should have paid attention where to f jump because I think I missed an item, but also I don't want to miss. Let's see, there's a train down there. If we go this way, there's item possible items in those rocks. Let's take the train around first. No item in this rock, okay. We have a... I have a... Shoot, I always forget my t tentacles nickname. Metroid, jeez. I think... Okay, I'm going to skip the dialogue. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to skip the dialogue. Um, but, um, I, I don't play the Metroid games that much. I played, like, at Metroid for the NES, I played Super Metroid once, and I played Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance, and I played a little bit of Metroid Prime up to the first boss, that Insect Queen-looking boss, where you have to evacuate after you beat it and stuff. But other than that, I haven't played really much many Metroid games, you know? I guess that's why maybe I'm just not thinking of the nickname Metroid, so I'm always draw a blank or something. I don't know. I'm, I prob I'm probably just going crazy, honestly. Okay, so that is level 31 and it's male. Let's go for the surf attack. Come on, Metroid, you surf. Ride that surf, as the Pokemon Stadium announcer would say. Yeah, nice. Okay, if I want to turn next, okay, we'll stay in. So we turn to rock type Pokemon. Rock Psychic, I believe. So this one turns genderless and it's level 31. Awesome. Let's go for the surf attack again, Metroid. There you go. Let's see how much this does. It one it is it awesome. Nice. Awesome. We defeated Psychic Jackie. Cool. Uh, astounding. Thanks. Thanks for seven hundred forty-four pocket dollars too. You're really nice. So here is um. Okay, we have to jump up here. So I have to actually go. I have to actually go back around and to get the other items and po possible trainers I missed because I missed that item I just see right there. So let's fly back to uh Holy Cove City, I guess, which is up here. No, that's Fortress City. My bad. Holy Cove City is right here. So I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. Is there any items I have to put in the PC? Let me see. Also, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take away the PC so I can cut down the bushes to try to about the psychic and probably get a rare candy too out the end there. So who am I gonna put in the PC? I'll put um Geico in the PC I guess to make it easy. Cause it's Geico and Switch are level 36 so yeah. Um is there any items I have to put in my PC? Uh C instance elixir, max ether, max potion. Oh we got max potion, cool. I'll put the max potion in the PC too. So yeah, I have to put four items in my PC. Awesome. So I'll heal my Pokemon and do all that, and I'll put you guys back out where uh, the route we were just on, with like the Surf do, which is about, I think it's about, um, it should be about 122, 123, somewhere around there, either one, 122 or 123. I'll save when we enter the route again, but yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so this is about 123, 123, 123, I guess. I think I already checked all these rocks actually for items, so I only just cut right here because I have wear in the way with us now. I have, uh, again, I have, uh, Geico in the PC. Let's go down first. Here's an item. I think it's a rare candy. Awesome. We have 14 rare candies, I'm pretty sure right now. We could actually end the game with, like, maybe 16 plus, if I were to guess. Jeez, we have 14 now. Awesome. Is there an item right here, though? Guess not. Okay. It kind of looks like a little uh, hidden spot, but I guess not if there's already rare candy there. So yeah, here's a psychic. I believe I have a. I forget who I have friends. It's gonna be a surprise, but that's okay. Being a psychic is all about willpower. I've willed myself. I've willed myself not to lose to anyone. That makes me strong. That is true. But you also want to push. You know, lay back sometimes and have fun, relax. Don't get so stressed out. Yeah, it's just, just a word of advice, I guess. Psychic Cameron. Yeah. Okay. So who do I have friend again? I have Metroid. Okay. Cool. So Metroid is half poison. So let's try to knock out this cadaver fast with a surf. Go Metroid, you surf. This cadaver is level 31 in male, so that's pretty cool. The cadaver goes down, awesome. And she has a soul rock, awesome. So the soul rock is rock and psychic, I believe, so it's gonna be weak against wire type, it's like surf. So let's just surf on the soul rock that's level 31 in genderless. So there we go. 20k, awesome. I think Metroid will probably be a level 36 by the end of this battle. By the way, the end of the battle is now, actually, because we beat her last Pokemon. Yes, and I'm right, awesome. We defeated uh, Psychic Cameron, awesome. I feel sad, so I don't feel sad, feel happy. I mean, you can work harder. I think she gave us a total of 744 Poké Dollars. I kind of looked at the number for a second, a split second, you know, before pressing A rapidly or fast enough to where I skipped it. Okay, let's go to Screamo, I guess. Yeah, Screamo hasn't had any screen time. Uh, I, th I don't think at all on this part. So yeah, I'm gonna use Cat right here to uh, avoid the tall grass, I guess, even though I do have a pill on still. Nice. And, uh, do we do already battle the Hex Maniac? I think we did, but let me just double check. Let's get down that tree for now. 
the great ability. You might power with where the spirits of Pokemon sleep. I must overflow with power. It must overflow with power that soothes spirits. That's actually good. That's maybe a good point, actually. That's probably true. Okay, so over here. Oh, no, I want to check that rock for an item. Shoot, if I already didn't do that. Shoot. Okay, so apparently I didn't have a pill on. It must have worn off. I don't know where it would have worn off, but I guess I didn't catch it. So that's why. We are the one you and I ran into, by the way. So let's see here. Go down. We already built that cool trainer. So maybe we can go over here and go down this way. And, uh, jump right here. To here, yeah. Um, I guess we can get down here. We already built this cool trainer. I was gonna answer in the wall for, uh, Secret base. Um, we don't want to. We don't want to jump down there because we already battled that psychic down there. I believe it was that trainer. Um, is there an item over here? Oh, you think there is, but I guess not. Actually, now I'm checked it. No hit item in this rock. Okay, fine. But there's a hit right here's an item. It's a calcium. Nice. I guess you can fish right here. That should be cool. Um, but I don't think it leads to anywhere other than like it's around. It surrounds the grassy area that I'm currently running on. Is there an item in this rock right here? I guess not. No, I'm tapping it on it, so no. Yeah. So let's fly back to Lily Cove City. Um, I want to buy some more pills, but first, really in Lily Cove City, all we're doing is going back to the Pokemon to buy items, I guess. And sell stuff if we need to. But then after that, we're going to fly back to Slayport, so that sounds like a plan. I'm going to go get, I'm going to deposit a uh, Larry and get a, uh, get, um, Geico back out of the PC, so I'll be right back. Do we have to put anything in, the, in the, my PC? Uh... The calcium, oh yeah, let's use it on special, raised special attack. Let's use it on, um, Twitch actually. Yeah, special attack was raised. Cool. So I'm gonna get switched away with Geico real quick, so I'll be right back and I'll heal my Pokemon too. Even though they didn't take many, much damage, or well, it's no damage, probably. Okay, I have an itch I'm scratching right now, that's why I pause there for a second, okay. So. Skarmory, yes, yeah, level 35, Smoke is level 35, Fire is level 35, Metro is level 35, level 36 actually. So half my Pokemon on level 36, half my Pokemon on level 35, that's awesome. So yeah, here, let's, let's go shop and I think we did everything we want to do right now in Lily Cove because we can't even take on the Team Magma uh, hideout yet because we haven't activated a cutscene in Slayport. So it's actually just uh, my pull off by the way. I'm gonna shop for some more pills and items I guess. I don't think I need to sell anything do I? I don't have any nuggets do I? No I guess not. Cool. So just shopping a little bit you know enjoying the department store in Lake Cove. You know I always want to go to uh, New York because there's the Nintendo store there and they used to have the Pokemon Center store there. Pokemon Center which is pretty cool. It actually played the Pokemon music I think as you walked in the uh, automatic doors and stuff, that's awesome. But I'm not for sure, I think that's what I've heard at least. I may have had a bad source, it may be dumb and say like, mixed up something with something else, I don't know. But I kinda wanna go to New York and go to Nintendo World and visit the store there. I know this, I know like the inside looks like cause I've seen vlogs of it from my favorite YouTubers like Yoshi I went to the Nintendo store uh, once and uh, there's, I think it's a little bit overpriced but it's still a cool store. I don't, I live in St. Louis, Missouri so like, I'm nowhere close to New York but Somewhat, I guess, if I took a fight there, I don't know. I usually go to Dragon Con with my sister, one of my older sisters, every year, since, ever since 2012. And yeah, but that's in Atlanta, Georgia. But other than that, I don't really fly on a plane or anything. The first couple of times we went to Dragon Con, we flew on a plane, but the last like two or three years have been driving down there, you know. So anyway, let's buy um some, uh, let's buy some stuff, yeah. So let's um buy a couple three more potions I guess. Let's buy five more super potions. Cool. Okay, let's buy three more hyper potions. Let's buy three more revives. I don't want to buy repels. I guess we can start buying max repels, which would be cool. Let's buy like five, ten I guess for now. Yeah, ten's good. And then, uh, wave mail and mech, mech mail, I don't want to buy, actually, because I don't do mail. I don't even get mail in this game, like, I don't actually physically get the, like, the meaning and, like, which, what it does and stuff. Yeah, okay, so, welcome, how many of you, okay. So, yeah, Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball, let's buy, um, two more Pokeballs. Let's buy four more Great Balls. And let's buy five more Ultra Balls. See what I did there, three, four, five, <laughs> This is awesome, yeah. Let's buy one more Escape, just so we have it in our bag. Full heals, let's buy like four more full heals. And uh, that looks like about it, yeah. Cool. 
So we went on a little shopping spree there, so that's awesome. Okay, so we're down in the Lolicove department store, we're down in the Lolicove city. So what we want to do now is fly back to, uh, Sleepport city. We haven't been there in a while, actually. Marvel city is right there, Sleepport city is right here. Cool. All my Pokemon should be fully healed anyway, so there's nothing to go back to the Pokemon city now. It's just progressing the game. You want to go to Sleepport city, and then look, there's all these people right here. Look, it's Captain Stern and Gabby and Ty interviewing, uh, Captain Stern. So yeah, let's talk to Gabby. I see, I see. You had, ha, you've had a must invaluable experience. Interesting. Let's talk to Ty. Okay, Captain Stern, a big smile for the camera. Okay, yeah. Uh, a TV interview here. The captain's a celebrity. Awesome. Uh, hey, are you watching? T uh, hey, are you watching? I am on, am I on TV? Well, I'm not looking at a TV screen. I'm just talking to you. Jeez. Silly goose. This lady interview is so cool and pretty. When I grow up, I'm just going to be an international International jour journalist, that's pretty cool. Chase that dream. What's going on here? Uh, did did the good p captain come back from a big fish from the ocean floor? What does that mean? The, did the good captain come back? I must have misread that. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Captain Stern says that they discovered something in the bottom of the sea. I wonder what it is. What could it be? Ground on Kyoto. <laughs> that was a bad cough by for Kyoto, but yeah. Okay, I was hoping that it was a famous star, so. I was hoping that it was a famous star so I could get an autograph, but who, but who's that being interviewed? Isn't that Captain Stern? It is. Let's talk to Captain Stern. We're in front of the, we're in front of the Slayport Harbor, by the way, which I don't think I showed the inside of it yet, but we'll see the inside of it in a second if you catch my drift. Slayport Airport, not Slayport Airport, Harbor, geez. The ferry, uh, SS title is under construction in the shipyard. Service is scheduled to begin shortly. Good, that's good to know. I don't know if they said the same like quote thing when we first we got the sleepwork, but maybe maybe not. Let's talk to Captain Stern finally. Captain Stern says, "Yes, indeed, we intend to move ahead with our exploration." That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time for your t taking the time from your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with news of more discoveries. Awesome. And Gabby and Ty just leave. Interesting. A few. That was the first time I've been filmed for TV. It was a nerve wracking, nerve whacking, racking, I guess you could say. Um, I made a stupid joke when I did my original, you know, walkthrough guide of Pokemon Ruby back in like 2010. By this time, I think it was like September of 2010 because I still finished, I think, all of Pokemon Ruby the first time, um, before 2011 happened. So I'm pretty proud of that. But like I made a super joke like, hey guys, yeah, I feel like I know you've pain. I I'm actually being I'm actually like being watched right now or something like that. Cause like I was breaking the fourth wall with being like, hey, this is a YouTube video. You what you what? I'm being watched by thousands of people via a YouTube video that I'm gonna upload. So that was a terrible joke. I it was cringe. It was just cringe. I don't really like it. Like whenever I look back on it, I just cringe, and it's just not a fun time to look back on that memory. I was like 13 too. And now I'm 21. Eight years later, baby. Eight years later. Yeah, depending on the stuff. If I were to guess, part 30 would probably be uploaded somewhere in April of 2018. I'm recording this on uh, February 18th of 2018. It's a Sunday. I'm recording this at 9.53 at night on a Sunday. Uh, the day before Presence Day, so I have school. In, I don't have school the next day, which is awesome. So I can even record more tomorrow if I wanted to, which I'll probably plan on recording more tomorrow. I've, this whole Presidents Day weekend, I've been recording in bulk of this project because on Friday, around, uh, I think 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock is when I start, started recording part 1. Now I'm on part 30 of my, this project and it's, wow. When I record in bulk and whenever I, I know a game very well, I just go for it. I record in bulk and I just record a lot. I can't stress that enough. Anyway, that's my spiel. Sorry for chewing off your ear with all my commentary right there. But yeah, that was my first time I was filmed for a TV. That was nerve wracking. Yeah. Oh, Steven, you're looking great. Thanks. Uh, you, we made a huge discovery in our last X C4 exped exploration. Uh, we found an underwater cavern in route on Route 128. We think it's an habitat. It's an habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have been long ex extinct. <laughs> Captain Stern, I could say F U F U F U like Chikawa does, and Yoshoi does, but I'm gonna say Fufufufu to be different, or to say like I don't think they mean like F U F U F U like cursing you out with the F word. Anyway, Captain Stern, I presume we have Team Magma will assume control of your submarine. No, your objections uh, are meaningless. We we expect your total cooperation. Fufufufu, just watch and learn from what Team Magma has planned. Everyone's confused. They have question marks over their heads. What was that all about? 
It sounded like someone using a megaphone. Where did it come from? He's all shocked. It's from the harbor. The summer and they're trying to take it. Steven, please come with me. Come on, Maxie, don't do this. You know it's not the right thing to do. Maxie says, says, "Wah! I can, I can, I can remember, I can, I can commemorate with you." I think I said that right. Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, um, all that effort you spent following me here all the way from Mount Pyre, but now no one can stop me. Stop us, no one. We'll see about that. Or we follow us back to Lake of City, to our hideout in Lake of City. Or we follow us back to our hideout in Lake of City. There we go. For ha ha. Thanks for telling me where we're gonna be next. You silly goose. They took the submarine though. That stinks. I think that was Admin Tabitha with them that jumped in the t p submarine with them. Yeah. So Captain Stern says, "Why? Why would Timmy Akin steal my submarine Explorer One? They can't be after." The someone bring Pokemon at the bottom of the sea, which is Groudon <coughs> for Pokemon Rubian, uh, which is um, Kyogre for Pokemon Sapphire. <coughs> yeah, bad coughing in there. Um, and then Emerald, you get both of them actually, but you can catch both of them, I should say. If but if um, you were to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. I'll do it. I'm the protagonist in this game. I can do it. So everyone just left after that confusion. They didn't even walk in the harbor to see what happened. The Captain Stern is right here again. Why? Okay, why would team? Okay, so the same thing. You said the same thing, okay. I was wondering if you said something different. And we can actually surf you, which kind of stinks because it's a harbor and they don't just surf in this water, apparently. Is there an item up here or something? I feel like they might be. Nope, of course not. This harbor is pretty much empty with- I'll get your submarine back. Don't worry, Captain Stern. Don't worry thing about that. I'm a pro at this. I played this game like three times completely. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of that, yeah. Let's get back to the Lake of City and Fire there. Again, I don't need to heal my Pokemon because they're already full healed. We didn't do really any battling at all, so... Let's just head to their hideout, I guess, because that's where, gonna be, that's where gonna, they're going to be next. As you see, they're still in town, in the Lake of City. So, yeah. Don't accidentally fall, hop over the ledges by, like, overrunning that or, you know, accidentally biking over that. Because then you have to go all the way back around, which is a pain, honestly, if you think about it. So, let's use Surf on our Metroid. There, I didn't draw a blank that time when I was trying to remember its name, nickname. Yeah, so let's go for the, um, let's go f use a, um, super repel. I should have bought more super repels at the Black Ops department store, but I don't think it, there was super repels. Oh, I did buy max repels, so that's what I bought, yeah. So max repels at the bottom of the back, probably. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna re-injure my bag real quick. No, I didn't mean to do that, shoot. Okay, it's super repel with soda pop then. Super repel with, um, what's bull, soda pop, yellow fruit, blue fruit with yellow fruit, yellow fruit with, uh, blue fruit with red fruit, red fruit with rare candy. Candy with energy powder, um, Revival Herb with energy powder, and uh, energy, energy with so pipe switch with the uh, uh, uh Revival, Revival Herb. There we go, awesome. So let's see, we have how many repels do we have? Oh, shoot, that's not good. Wait, this is easy. We can just do that and then just do that. Wait, no, we can just do that actually. Cool. So we have 10 max repels and 16 super repels. That's why let's just use a super repel because I want to end up just having max repels in my bag. I guess. And you can, uh, Matt Pistolwood actually made a good point where he said that super repels have, uh, still repel the, uh, less than 50 more, less than 50 steps than max repels do. But, um, I think super repels are a better deal, but I kinda like max repels for some reason. Even though I'm using, like, I don't like max potions because I think hyper potions are more, you know, logical and smart to use. The Wormers are still out there, You're still training them. But we can go in the hideout now. Now this is very important. In the Magma hideout and the Aqua hideout, depending on which version of the game you're playing, there is the Master Ball in here. So you want to use a tel there, this is a teleportation puzzle in here to get the Master Ball. But you want to make sure you grab the Master Ball, and you also get a Nugget, I believe, too, which, and two other good items in that room. But you want to definitely get the Master Ball, at least the Master Ball. Because once you leave here in BT Magma, I think... Uh, it'll close off if not when you beat Team Magma completely before like right before entering the Pokemon League This this title will be closed off. You can't enter it again So like I think there's one point through where I accidentally forgot to get the Master Ball So I'd actually restart my whole game or something But that was when I was like first couple times playing through the game So I've actually forgot the Master Ball in here And it's like common that you may forget it because you can't you don't remember to go to the teleportation area Where you have to use the teleportation puzzle but yeah, just make sure you pick up the Master Ball. I can't stress that enough because the Master Ball is a great item. It catches any Pokemon without fail. Of course, I'm going to use it on Wadias because you get Wadias as a main legendary in this game. But that's not for like later in the, to after the game actually. To, I think it's after game stuff actually. 
So yeah, maybe at the end of the game during the main story, I can't remember. So I have Sc Screamer up front. I'm gonna keep Screamer up front. I'm just gonna hope that I don't get my butt Screamer's butt kicked with the his fire his fire potential fire Pokemon I might have. So yeah, I use suspicious character spotted. So yeah, this will probably be the last bit. This, this is like the only. I think this is not the. Yeah, this isn't the only battle in the video. Good, but um, this will probably be the last battle of the video because I'm recording time wise. I'm at 21, 29 minutes and twenty three seconds counting. So yeah, let's go for the uh, Aerois. I guess this Puchina is level thirty two and male. I like the design on the floor like, for the battle system. It's like orange and it's like reddish oranges and has like tiles design. That's kind of cool. And he has two Puchinas. So, well, much of a well, he's the first team team. I must say team rocket. I did say team rocket there actually, but uh, he's the first um team magma grunt. So yeah, Puchina fainted. Awesome. Okay, we defeat team magma grunt. Cool, and we get double the money because uh, Skuma participated in battle. Awesome. Grr, I lost it. Or appeared in battle, I should say. We got one thousand two hundred eighty poker dollars. Awesome. So I took my boss, I took a loss for the team, but I did my job by stalling me. Yeah, you kind of did my job. But like, even, you don't, they don't jump into the submarine or, Maxi doesn't go off with the submarine until like we get a certain cutscene. We have to battle, I think it is Team Magma, Admin T Tabitha again. And if it's, uh, in, um, Pokemon, uh, Ruby, it's Pokemon Sapphire, it's Team Magma, uh, Team Aqua, um, Admin Shelly, I believe. And then for T Emerald, it's Team Aqua, Admin Shelly as well. Yeah, because I think in, uh, you know, t uh, in Emerald, uh, I think uh, Team Magma was in uh, Mount Pyre because it's kind of more like a hot zone, you know, with all the fog or something, steam looks like. Um, and then, you know, if he, obviously with the, this hideout being near, wa near water, you know, Team Aqua would take it over for an, if you're playing Pokemon Emerald. So yeah, let's take on the first teleporter, I guess. I'm gonna end the part right here, though. So this has been the my Pokemon Ruby Rudo at the part. The next part, we'll take on the rest of this hideout and maybe make our way to. Uh, we have to cross the water route and get to Moss Deep City after that. But yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, this has been Jared Group again. I would like to thank you for goodbye and hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby Rudo Walkthrough Guide.